So for all the new viewers and the people unfamiliar with the New Balance deal, um, can we speak more about Real Chain? I, I'm, of course, I wasn't at the pop-up locations, but you can download an app. I have it for Android, the Real Chain app. It's probably not clear here. And uh, it's similar technology to the Tangem card where you can scan it on your phone and a string of characters. Um, can, you, can you go through the entire process of how to authenticate the shoe? What is this real chain and how does it interact with Cardano? I know, I know that's a loaded question with uh, three different questions there, but uh, really explain to the users exactly what is happening. Sure. Um, so uh, there have been a few questions about this, and um, I think it's, it's good to clear this up. Uh, some people uh, were under the impression that, uh, you know, they don't understand, well, how is this possible since uh, we haven't rolled out our smart contracts mainnet yet and this uses smart contracts? Uh, it doesn't. Um, what this does use is what's called colored coins. Um, so basically, um, each, as you know, each transaction on the blockchain carries its own unique hash which is a unique identifier that then is put into the blockchain, uh, which is immutable. So you can't copy it, right? Because it's just, it's like unraveling a ball of string. You just can't do it. You know, you can't do it without people knowing. Um, each one of these cards is assigned a particular hash. So there is a transaction that happens on the Cardano blockchain. When you use the card to authenticate the shoe that you bought, through the app. So basically what you do is you buy the shoe, you open the box, there's a card in there, you download the app, you then tab the card on to the app, and it'll then register that particular product on the New Balance real chain using the Cardano blockchain, using these card coins. Um, so that's, I mean, that's it in a nutshell. It's, um, it's a straightforward solution. And uh, it's uh, like I said, it's 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 a very straightforward and good use case for Cardano in the particular state that it's in right now. Okay. Wow. And so the shoes, if if I were to buy one today, that card is, will work with the current Cardano blockchain with this colored coin. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this this particular uh, yeah this. Uh, the, Every, anything that's sold with these cards will be interacting with the Cardano blockchain. Okay. So when you register the product through the app, the app interacts with the Cardano blockchain to register the hash that is assigned to this particular shoe or this particular pair of shoes. Okay. And wow. so uh, I just I just wanted to make it clear that um, this is a it's not an anti counterfeiting um, solution it's an authentication solution so basically what you're doing is you're authenticating that this product is the real deal. I see. I yeah, see. I get what I get what you mean. Because anti counterfeiting the shoe, it would probably there would have to be a device inside that shoe in order or. The whole shoe, I mean, there's a difference between having a card and a shoe because someone could take a card technically and put it in a different shoe box and authenticate that shoe with that. Is, is that what that well, means, the uh, difference? Uh, 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 well, there is a, um, I mean, you are correct that there has to be more done to uh, to the actual, um, and this is this is me talking. This is not, this is not something yes. that we discussed with New Balance. Um, there has to be more uh Involved, there's more involved in making an anti counterfeiting solution versus an authentication solution. Now, going back to the New Balance solution, so there is, um, it's not as, as simple as uh, just taking a card and putting it into a different box. There are other uh, aspects that are registered in that particular hash that will then go back to that particular shoe. Okay. Uh, again, these are identifiers that I, I'd rather not talk about. Uh, but it's it's something that's already um, that uh, New Balance already uses, and that is attached to this particular to this particular card. So it's not as yeah. easy. It's not you know uh, you know because th there have been some questions. Well, what if somebody just takes a card and 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 makes a bunch of you know a bunch of uh, fake shoes and puts this card in there? Uh, you 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 can't. I mean, it's, okay. it's they're all unique. All these things are unique. So um, that's that 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 uniqueness. It's is what uh, provides the opportunity for authentication. 